Hi guys, Random here, back with a bit more World of Warships. Uh, we're going to look at a subscriber replay here from Nemstar, who plays on the North American server. Um, this is, I believe, <coughs> his 500th game in the New York, I think uh, the replay thing said. And uh, it's, by his own admission, a fairly average game. It's, you know, nothing too remarkable, which is fine, because we're going to use it as background to uh, have a chat about a question that he asked, along with sending the replay. Now, what he asked was, essentially, oi you old git, you've been playing this game forever, um, you know, how do the old ships in the game compared to the new ones have they been power crept now I think that's quite an interesting question so I'm going to take you back to a, a time when dinosaurs roamed the earth and this game was in closed beta okay about three and a half ish years ago back then you had two nations the Americans and the Japanese okay and Essentially, they had two, two flavours. <clears throat> the Japanese, all the cruisers, I think from Tier 3, um, maybe Tier 4, but I think it's Tier 3, uh, had torpedoes, which was okay. You know, they had good range, great damage, and um, these, were, these were okay boats to fire guns in, they didn't reload particularly quickly and the gun turrets didn't turn very fast, pretty much like now. Um, and then you had the Americans, okay, and we'll again look at their cruisers, uh, only the tier 4 and 5 had torpedoes which had terrible range and really bad damage, um, but their guns were faster firing and did good damage. So there, there were your two flavours, if you like. It's kind of similar with the destroyers as well. Great torps on the Japanese, terrible torps on the Americans. And uh, the Americans had better guns, Japanese had better stealth. So that's pretty much your flavours. And you found, you found a line that you played and was comfortable. All right? Now, of course, I'm sitting there going, where the bloody hell's the, the Royal Navy? What's going on? Get me a new cup of tea and a crumpet. Um, but, yeah, I, I kind of got... They, they've they gone for the Pacific side of fleet battles before the Atlantic. So, yeah, I, I got that. So I played the game and I enjoyed it. And I, I really enjoyed the Japanese cruisers. Um, did really well before they reset everyone's stats. I was up to Tier 8, I think. Um, which... Was, really good you know really like that then they reset everyone's stats did a bit of uh, what they like to call and I'm air quoting balancing um, and things started to change <clears throat> the, the the Japanese cruisers kind of suffered a little bit the American cruisers I think because people weren't playing them quite the way uh, they would perform best, I think were buffed a little bit. You know, to try and even out the numbers, if you like, you know, and so get a 50 50 win ratio between each boat, which personally I don't think was the right approach. But do you know what? Wargaming run a big multinational gaming company, I don't. So let's let's bow to their knowledge for the moment. Then what happened? Okay. Then we got other lines introduced. Now I can't remember exactly which order they were in, but we got the Germans and we got the uh, the French, the British. Uh, oh, good lord, the Pan Asian. Um, you know there were premiums bought in as well that had different nations attached and and it was almost like they went right what's in the game already and how can we make these better to play every time they released a line 
So French cruisers, for example, okay, you've got the pretty rapid moving Japanese cruisers. Hmm, not fast enough. Let's make the French ones faster. Um, American cruisers, yeah, they've got decent guns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's give the uh, the French guns look perform really well. Um, and torpedoes. Um, and uh, oh yeah, yeah, let's uh, let's give them this reload boost thing. Uh, speed boost as well, you know, and uh, well, how are we looking? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah they're, they're performing really well. Great, everyone will love them, they'll all play the French cruisers. Well, if you actually enjoyed playing the stuff that was in the game before the French cruisers, like, I don't know, the German cruisers, for example, you might have been a little bit miffed. You might have looked at it and you might have gone, hang on a minute. That boat's better than my boat, but I like playing my boat. Why is that boat better than my boat? And that's continued with pretty much every release. They look for a a way of, I'm going to say, improving the feel of gameplay. Okay? Not gameplay in itself, just the feel of it. So to give players uh, an experience that they haven't yet had in the game, to keep people interested. So, I understand why they do it. I don't necessarily agree with it, but I do understand why it happens. Now, in a game like this, if you compare it to, I don't know, World of Warcraft, okay, same WOW, you've got different classes in World of Warcraft. Um, you've got mages, you've got healers, you've got tanks, you've got, I don't know what they call them, warriors, or well, whatever the, the name is. I don't play the game, but um, you get what I mean. You've got different classes. And you can tweak stats on those classes by getting better armour, better weapons, etc. But essentially it's the same class all the way up. In this... It's not the same class. Each nation... So, if you're in World of Warcraft, let's say you're playing a dwarf, or a human, or a... I don't know, a, a, a dustbin with legs. I, I really don't play the game, so I can't, I can't really authoritatively talk about what's in it. But each particular, uh, I don't know, species, um, or nation, if you like, has its own little traits. Okay, so, you know, orcs might be really good tanks. Um, elves might be really sneaky. Um, I don't, again, I don't know. I'm just m making this up for an example. In this, what you do is you play the newest nation or the Russians, if you want to do well. Because the newest nation is generally the ones with all the consumables and traits that you know have been added over time and it's great and then you've got the russians because well russian company i'm not saying there's russian bias but a lot of the ships in the game were paper ships okay when it comes to real ships um sacrifices and uh, you know reality hit if you like uh, on a lot of occasions when they were building them they said oh we can't do that we'll have to you know cut back and compromise on this um which led to a less good ship than was originally on the paper if that makes sense whereas if you've just got a paper ship that can't happen so it could be that there's a little bit of uh, shall we say a historical bias um, or it could be that actually you know they just didn't actually build these things so didn't have to make the compromises and if they'd have built them like this they really would have been that good so yeah let me know your thoughts uh, personally I do think the older ships need a buff I know the Japanese 127 mils have had one recently, but mm, I still think the ships could do with a little bit of help. Um, but let me know your your thoughts in the comments section. And thank you very much to Nemstar 
for the replay. Um, you know what to do, guys, if you enjoyed it. It's the old like button a tickle. Uh, if you're new to the channel, why not subscribe? But uh, I think as this game comes to an end, that's quite enough for me. So thank you ever so much for watching, guys. But for now, it's Captain Random signing off. Take care, and I'll see you again in the next one.